Hello, it's Kimberly at ADR Notable. This is one of the three bonus items promised in the term sheet video. It's a quick and easy way for Microsoft Word users to review a document in a remote mediation, make any necessary changes, and then get signatures. What we're going to see in the next three minutes is a great example of how ADR Notable works with the tools that you already use. The first step is to create your term sheet in ADR Notable using the method where you copy each section into a Word document and then save it. And then start your Zoom call. Next step is to open up the document and go back into your Zoom call and then use the sharing button right here okay, to copy a link that anyone can edit. We're going to copy that and then we're going to paste it into the Zoom chat. And you're going to ask everybody in the meeting to click on that and open the document. When they do, you'll see when they enter the document. And you'll also be able to see their cursors where they are. Now at this point, you can share your screen in your Zoom call and then review the document together. And you can make as many changes as you want to, and so we'll make one here so you can see what it looks like. Let's say that somebody notices that the parenting plan isn't actually incorporated into this agreement, it's attached to the heading, and so we'll change that language. And then when you're done, you can at that point invite everybody to attach their signatures. And so we'll start with Matt. And then the date and then ask Brittany to sign her name and then finally we'll say that Donna Parsons signs this as a witness and now you have a signed MOU that's ready to distribute and add to your retained documents folder in the Tucker Divorce Files in ADR Notable. So I hope you'll try this out and let us know how it works for you. Um, if you'd like, don't forget that one of the other bonuses is that in the library, in the ADR Notable section under Documents, you can find a sample mediation term sheet template you can copy into your version of Microsoft Word. And also there is an instruction sheet that will give you some direction on how to get that into the correct place in Word and then how to use it after that. As always, thanks so much for watching. And in case you were wondering if you could use the term sheet generator to create other types of documents, the answer is definitely yes. And we have a video that will give you some examples of how that can be done.